Hi everybody, it's Stacy. I'm going to make you this adorable happy birthday card and I used my Cricut cutting machine and I used the Sweet Treats um, cartridge to cut out this little ice cream cone and you'll find the ice cream cone on page 31 and what I did is I cut the blackout um, ice cream cone. I did one layer, so this I cut out in the brown the um, ice cream scoop I cut out in the pink and then the layer I cut out in the chocolate sauce for the chocolate fudge so um, let's go ahead I already cut them out and I've already put it together for you but I'll show you how I assembled it and, and what size I used for everything so it's from the sweet treats cartridge love this cartridge and the sentiment the happy happy birthday sentiment is from paper tray inks birthday bash sentiments and um, great great uh, set of stamps to own if you do a lot of birthday cards because it has multiple um, options. So let's go ahead and start assembling it. First of all you'll need a card. This is already a pre-made card and this is eight and a half by five and a half. And then the black piece is slightly smaller than that. It's five and a quarter by four inches. So you're going to want to adhere this to your card base. My tape's going crazy. Take that. Center that on your card. Make sure all the edges are down. Then you want to take your decorative piece. And I thought that this card was perfect just because the, the paper that I used. I thought that this paper was awesome. And again, like I uh, had said in an earlier tutorial, I have to use all my scrap paper. So, oh, what is going on with the ATG, ATG gun? Um, so I went through my paper and you should see my floor of my craft room. It has all the, <laughs> all the pieces that I have to use before I go and buy more which I think is a good New Year's resolution. Use what you've got, don't go buy more. And then you find little little nuggets like this of paper that you forgot you had. Forgot I had a lot. Go ahead and center that and put it on. Then, and this piece, the striped piece was five inches by three and three quarters. Then all I did was choose two coordinating colors from within the, the decorative color. And this black strip is two inches by three and three quarters. And the yellow one is one and three quarters by three and three quarters. And you could put this in the middle. You can center it. You could put it towards the bottom. You can, you know, choose either way to put it. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. I kind of like it in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure that's down. Now let's take the sentiment. Make sure you've got a lot of ink on it. Set that aside. And then we are going to I went ahead and used my Crayola, um, oh, what do you call it, pencils. I used just plain brown, and I need to sharpen it. But I just crisscrossed to get the cone effect to make it a little bit more dimensional. And then my Jelly Roll pens, take those and just kind of give it a little bit more depth. You don't have to go around every little edge but just give it a little bit more dimension and this one is rose star and I use it a lot it's pink with glitter and then the white one I took and just kind of did like a little half moon over in the corner and this is just plain white and then take your dimensionals Use two if you're going to mail it so it doesn't get smushed. And then plop it over. 
onto the side. Just like that. And the ice cream cone on my Cricut was cut at one and a half inches. So there you go. Some nice use of some of my leftover scrap paper. So if you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email. Thanks. Bye.